Hello and welcome to MaxSurf Webinar 7, Video 1 on Resistance and Powering Prediction using Hull Speed. My name's Phil Christensen and I'm going to take you through this introduction to the program and its techniques. Hull Speed is a general purpose resistance prediction program. It supports a wide range of hull shapes and it does that by using two different approaches. The first is a series of regression analysis methods. These are resistance prediction methods based on tank testing. We also have an analytical or slender body method, and this is a technique based on first principles of potential flow. The advantage of the second method is it also allows us to calculate the free surface wave pattern, and you can see a picture at the bottom of the screen here showing the types of outputs we can get from that. Let's step back and just recall some of the fundamentals of resistance calculation. Our resistance can be broken down into a couple of components, wave and viscous components or alternatively residual and friction components. So if we start at the top of this chart with our total resistance, we can break that down into residual resistance, which is based on the shape of the vessel and the fluid and the pressure field in that fluid around the vessel. And the second component is the skin friction resistance, and that's really due to the friction of the fluid flowing over the surface area of the hull. In fact, of the residual resistance relating to the shape of the body, there's also a component that does affect friction, the form effect on skin friction. So if we move that over from the residual resistance to the friction resistance, we can then consider the total resistance as being a combination of pressure resistance plus friction resistance. We can further decompose that pressure resistance down into wave resistance and viscous pressure resistance, which could also be moved over the viscous side. And our wave resistance can be broken down into wave making and wave breaking resistance. Hull speed doesn't ever consider wave breaking resistance. Uh, very few methods do, but certainly it computes the wave making resistance. So uh, all of the method methods compute these two components of resistance, and uh, we bring the wave making and the vistas together to give us our total resistance. The regression methods in hull speed are typically based on model test with a systematic series of hulls of similar type. And the authors of these papers uh, that have created these methods have then done a statistical regression analysis and come up with a series of coefficients, tables and formulas to predict the resistance of the vessel based on some key parameters. The resistance methods are usually identified by the name of the author who published the paper. So for planning we have Savitsky, Blount and Fox and so on, Holtrop's general purpose ship method, Van Oltmissen's method for trawlers and tugs and other squat vessels, Compton's method for fast semi-displacement and larger semi-displacement vessels, Fung's series of methods are good for faster larger vessels with transoms such as destroyers and patrol boats and so on. Series 60 is a well-known series of uh, data for cargo ships and the Delft unit in the Netherlands has a series of methods for yachts. So all of these can be used for the types of vessels that each uh, method was developed for. The analytical method, our second approach uh, or slender body method, is useful for slender hull forms. It can be used for either monohulls or multi-hulls, but it does require that you have a fairly large length to beam ratio. At least five is a good guide. That is somewhat speed dependent as well. If you want to go to higher speeds, you probably should go for a, a higher length to beam ratio. And the reason is that we're looking at potential flow, so we're not taking into account any particular turbulence, and so a slender body assumption is important. The methodology of that potential flow calculation is that we use a surface mesh that covers the hull and uh, the method then computes the energy in the waves of the pressure field that are developed around that hull. A byproduct of that is that we're able to calculate that free surface wave pattern shown in the picture at the bottom right as a part of the slender body method. Before we can get started with any of those methods, we need to make sure that our MaxSurf design file is being prepared correctly. And we should do the same type of setup as we would with Hydromax for stability. So first of all, our zero point and our frame of reference together have to be set up. We want to make sure the arrows on the vessels point in the correct direction if we're using skin thickness, which is an option. We want to make sure that the surface type is set for hull for the wetted surfaces and set to internal for everything else. Uh, hull speed being a resistance program obviously is just interested in the underwater shape. 
you want to make sure that if you have used surface trimming that you've got nice clean unambiguous closed sections all the way down your design and then for the slender body method there's one final check you need to make sure that your MaxSurf design is modeled on the starboard side that is the default behavior for MaxSurf but be careful if you've imported the data from some other system so let's switch over to hull speed and we can see here a rigid inflatable vessel that's been bought in let's show you how that's done if we start out with no design open then when we load in the MaxSurf design file MaxSurf will ask us which surfaces we want to measure. We can uh, just choose the surfaces that make up the hull or in this case I know that all my surfaces are set up uh, with the correct surface type so I can measure them all. If we turn on our sections and then we zoom in we can see that hull speed has automatically measured the underwater shape and we can see the shape of the sections that have been measured off the design and it's those sections that will be used for the resistance calculations. That concludes our brief introduction to hull speed. Thank you very much for watching.